guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a Merida inspired like Disney princess makeup look. So I'm continuing my Disney series that I haven't really touched on in a little while. I feel like I keep doing really sparse gaps between them but you guys did request, I did have a request for Merida uh, recently so I thought that would be such a fun look to recreate. I love the movie Brave and I thought oh it's quite colourful, it's quite fun so yeah. Let's get into it, shall we? So I've already done a base on my face, as we can tell right here. I will probably do a like updated foundation routine, just because I have changed up a few products, a few techniques, which I'm not going to lie, like I'm freaking digging, by the way. So I probably will, if you guys want to see one, an updated foundation like base routine, and I will get to my updated brow routine as well because I do have a few different techniques and different products that I use in that as well. So yeah, I'll get to those eventually. <laughs> okay, so for the eyes, I'm first going to prime them and of course I'm going in with my classic paint pot from MAC. Of course you can use concealer if you would rather. It's cheaper, it's easier, I just, I just like the paint pot. It's really great as a base. Of course you guys don't actually have to use an eye primer like base on your lids either like when I was first starting out with makeup I never used to wear an eye base I used to just chuck the shadows right on top but personally I just feel they stand out a lot more and they're more true to color if you do have an eye base down you could even use like a white cream base if you really wanted to put the pigment to stick out which now I'm thinking probably would have been better like say using like a NYX jumbo pencil or something like that just because the colors would just be like the voom but I didn't do that today so uh, oops so I have like an idea on what I want this look to look like I'm not 100% sure like how it'll turn out I hope it'll turn out all right but I have like just the colors that I want to use not really like how it's gonna look so fingers crossed this goes well I feel like most of my looks I'm just winging them so so after a great deal of consideration the first shade I'll be taking is this kind of light greenish it's like green shade and I might even touch on this like light blue as well and taking those shades through the outer crease not bringing it all the way in I want to kind of keep it just focused out here very lightly and I also want to blow it out a little bit as well because this is going to be quite a kind of blown out smoky eye. So just kind of taking it out towards the tail of the brow and just kind of connecting it to the outer corner as well. If you guys have any other requests for any princess makeup looks, any prom makeup looks, because I know that is coming up, it's prom season and everything like that. So I know a lot of you guys will be looking for like prom makeup looks. So just let your girl know down below what you actually want to see for my upcoming tutorials if you have any requests or anything like that like for me I always find it so helpful when you do leave a comment of what you'd like to see so just like that I just kind of lightly dusted it through the crease and it's kind of blown out towards the brow bone but not all the way up so next I'm going to grab this kind of light bluish shade and I'm just placing that just further down the crease softly blending it into those greeny shades I'm just kind of taking it just out into those greens just slightly. So I'm just mapping out because on the lid we're going to have quite dark shades. So I'm kind of going to go from orange to like blue to green. Maybe even have a bit of purple in there. I'm still not quite sure. But I want to have that kind of mapped out in the crease area so that they just like gradient smoothly through. Let me rephrase. <laughs> so that there's a smooth gradient through all the colours. Guys, I swear, I've grown up with English, with English as my first language and I'm still shocking at it sometimes. So just kind of like that, just kind of like a wash through so it kind of goes into those greens. And next, we're going to do, I'm going to take this light orangey shade. On the same 227 Soft Definer brush, I'm just taking that through the inner point of the crease. Of course, I've wiped this off so there's no blue left on it as well. And I'm again washing that through the blue, like just flicking it really. Oh, like that. So next I'm going to take this flame point shadow from Sugar Peel on a kind of flat dense brush. This is the chisel shader brush from Morphe and I'm just packing this on the inner point point the inner point is what I was trying to say not pint of the lid 
so I'm not really creating a defined line through here. I'm going to smoke that out. So just packing on this shade. And then grabbing some of that light orange that we used before in the crease. I'm just going to blend that out. <laughs> okay, now that we're looking a little crazy. I'm going to continue that gradient. So I'm thinking I'll go from like a softer blue into the deeper blue to like transition the orange into the blue shade. We'll see how it goes because I'm not actually quite sure how I'm going to go about it. So I'm going to go in with the shade Jada from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just pack that on next to flame point this is just going to be more of a transition because i do want it to be quite a deep outer point of the eye like the deep blue and green and this was like a greeny blue so i thought it would kind of tie in well like blending it into the orange and stuff so we'll see i mean fingers crossed it works and I might even grab a touch of Hunts to put in between Flame Point and Jada because it's more of a brownie orange so it might help that transition a little smoother. Next I'm going to grab Neptune from Makeup Geek and place that next to Jada to start transitioning into the outer V. And then I'm going to grab Sapphire from Morphe and pack that just kind of over top of Neptune. Next I'm going to take the shade Enchanted from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just pack that right on my outer corner. Kind of even over the top of sapphire as well because I don't want too much blue peeking through it's mainly green that I want to really stand out and then I'm just grabbing these two greens from the Chi Chi palette and placing them on the outer corner with a pencil brush to kind of blend in enchanted and just softening any edges with those initial like light, light green shades you know I'm going to go in is with this purple shade in between the deep like greeny blue and the orange to kind of help transition it just a little smoother next i'm just drawing on a winged liner a nice fierce wing kind of just to represent her fierce personality a little bit so next i'm going to grab some eyelash glue this is the house of lashes eyelash glue i'm just going to kind of dab it over the winged liner just the outer third i want it to kind of taper in so it starts off black on the inner corner and tapers into this kind of green glitter i'm using the shade swan river from my go travel perth eyeshadow palette from faux Couleur. i'm actually kind of just dotting it over yeah just the outer point where it's going to be thickest on the outer corner and it's kind of like tapers in towards the center of that liner so next over the orange i think it's a little bit too bright at the moment I just it's a little bit too much so I'm going to go over with this like coppery shade called Numbat from the travel palette so you can see she's got these little like white bits on her dress so I'm thinking I might do like an inner corner and brow bone highlight using like a similar like shimmery white cream shade so I'm going to take the shade and light from the Jaclyn Hill palette and place it on my inner corner and brow bone so I've just gone in and applied some mascara and lashes. The lashes I've gone in with today are my iconic lashes from House of Lashes. So next we're going to move on to the bottom lash line before I finish off with the lips. So, so because she is quite fair, I kind of like wanted to replicate that a little bit in the waterline with my Models Prefer Nude Eye Col. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep the bottom waterline pretty simple and just kind of stick to the red hair vibes because the eyes are pretty intense at the top so I'm going to take Hunts from the Jaclyn Hill palette again on a precise shader brush and just kind of wiggle that tightly against my outer corner of my eye and then I'm just going to blend that out with Beaches from that travel palette from Faux Couleur and I grabbed a little bit of Mount Eliza as well So for lips today, I'm going to go in with a lip liner. This is my <laughs> actual eye call um, that I use as a lip liner from Makeup Geek. I don't know if they can still like continue these. Um, it's the full spectrum eyeliner call, but I haven't been able to find it online. I don't know if it's just in Australia or if it's like, like worldwide you can't get it. But I'm just going to first of all line my lips I'm just filling in the outer points for a bit of an ombre. Then I'm taking this gorgeous liquid lipstick. It's like in the shade Who's Next from Faux Couleur. So this is with that red lip and like paired with that brown eye color. So I'm actually happy with how this look turned out. I hope you guys did enjoy it as well. If you'd like 
to see another Disney character makeup look, please leave down below what character you would like to see next. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look today. And yeah, if you have any requests, leave them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.